My name is Meg Holland. Um, I have been a member here for 33 years, which makes me an old timer, even though I don't really feel old. Um, and I, this is my extended community, kind of think of Houston as my family, um, extended family. <sighs> and uh, raised two sons here to adulthood. Um, and they were both really involved and did all the things that y'all are doing, did coming of age and youth group and coffee house and were involved in the, in the first coffee houses, which was a thing. I guess my sort of claim to fame, even though it's been a long time, it's like 16 years ago, I think this was the 16th coffee house, yeah. Um, I had this idea that youth at our church were very, dis very disparate. You know, like some are really kind of preppy and some are really like alternative and everywhere in between. And I don't know what you call yourselves anymore, like jocks and freaks, whatever the words are. It varies depending on the, on the era. Um, mine are probably dated terms. But anyway, uh, but one thing that united UU youth was a desire to make a difference in the world and to do some kind of service. Service like community service, something, but not just like social justice kind of stuff. So um, we came upon this idea to have a performance event that would support a, an organization that did was doing good work in the world. And the other thing that I noticed, because I had kids who did, who were like on the it's peripheral of the music and art scene at North, um, is it stage space? Stage space was really competitive. Like it was really hard to get into things, and you know, there's, and it, that we need more stage space. That young people really like to perform. They like to have, be with each other while they're performing. Um, they like to hang out. They like to watch their friends. Uh, so. That seemed to be a good pull, and so we were really we were very conservative. We said, okay, let's try to raise five hundred dollars. We hooked up with communities with we hooked up, we linked up with Communities Without Borders, uh, which is this program in Zambia to work with AIDS orphans, and we raised two thousand dollars. And it was like, wow, all these people came, and people came with little kids, and old people came, not just the parents, and so that was the first one. And uh, so I did it for eight years. With I did it past my kids had graduated. I did it for a couple more years. And now I sort of think of myself as like the guardian angel. You know, I still like notice young people that have talent and say, "Hey, you know about the coffee house? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be really good. <laughs> you really, sh you should go see this person." So anyway, so um, yeah. So that was kind of how you know that was a long time ago. Um, so I feel like I love this whole community, but I really. Not but, and I feel particular connection to the young people who are in this room with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so Houston's great, um, a great place to raise kids, a great place to come eat. There are a lot of people who come who don't have children, who are single. Um, it's a, I think it's going to be a great place to grow old. That's my plan. I'm planning to grow really old here. So um, on that, I will say thank you. <laughs>